<laughs> Excuse me. Wow. I came from me boots. Before we get into today's video, I want to say that um, the overall overriding emotion from this entire video is is just sadness, to be honest. Um, you see the title. We'll get to it in just a sec. A few more bits to do first, but like, I'm just, I'm just sad. So, <clears throat> before we get into today's video, I just want to emphasize that this is technically speculation. Nothing has been confirmed. Nothing is public knowledge. This is all my opinion, if you like, and I am making this video to answer the relentless amount of questions that I'm getting from you guys um, about this year's expo. So, without further ado, let's um, let's get into it. The overriding emotion is just sadness, to, to be honest. I can't really put it in any other way. You guys know how much I love body power. We'll, we'll get to that um, in just a sec. But stick with me, all the usual stuff. Drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And away we go. So we've got one, two, three twenties, a 10 here. Fake weights, 10 kilo bumper weights that he wrote 20 on them. <laughs> <laughs> Easy weight. Oh, no matter what, you to get it up. Three, two, one, two, one, get it. What's up guys, Liam here. Welcome back to LSJ. TV. We're training with the big boys today. I'm going to do a video entirely titled and to be honest this entire video was intent was, was gonna be was intended to be titled training with the big boys. Training with Sai, training with Dean. Ricky joined in for a few sets as well. He had his own session but he joined in. Um, but news has arisen. News has come to the surface and obviously I'm only doing Wednesdays and Sundays. Wednesday's video is going to take this title because I feel like I've got a bit of an exclusive for you. It might not be exclusive. It, it's public knowledge. If you've got tickets, then you know because you've received the same email as, as, as me. However, you guys see the title. Body Power 2022 is cancelled. Why? I, I, don't, I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, but it's cancelled. It's off. I don't know what's happening. We'll get to that in just a second. First off, I'm going to show you this PB. Well, it's not, it's not exactly a PB. I've never lifted this heavy. Um, obviously, we're training with the big boys. Um, and Dean basically told me to do this, this like weird kind of drop set. It always does my OCD when you don't have the plates in the right order. But for this, they're in the wrong order. But it made perfect sense. So we've got one, two, three twenties, a 10 here, another 20. Why? F fake weights. Talk us through it. Fake weights. So we're going to go for one with four and a half. This is, I'm following Dean's instructions here. 10 kilo bumper weights that he wrote 20 on them. <laughs> so, so we're going to try and hit one on this, take this 20 off and then rep it out for failure. Uh, as many as we can. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. three and a half. All right, cool. Let's go. Yeah, they don't, they don't drop to three and a half. Liam. Easy way. Oh, no matter what, you're gonna get it up. Three, two, one, come on, get it. Do another. Go, push. Yep. Come on, lock it. Keep going, push. Beautiful. Come on then, wrap it out. Let's go. Good, come on, keep failure. And again, let's go. Yep. Fuck! Suck it up, suck it up. Many, too many let's go, let's go. Okay, awesome. Nah. Big drop then, big drop. I hit the reps, it's all about the improvise. Drop the weight, carry on. The most important part is smash the muscle to complete oh. failure. Yep. Oh. On, Liam. One more, one more, one more. Let's go. Yep, yep. <laughs> right, hang on, hang on. Okay, you got one more. Stay I've got in. half in me. Go. Go. Hup. We've got another there. Too much rest. Yep. Perfect, mate. Fuck. And that's what we want to do. Complete failure. Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. Fuck concussion. Fuck concussion. 
we're getting there, people. Having said that, I've got a headache right now, but it is what it is. It is like lunchtime and I'm not eating, I'm probably just chew some food. I'm well hydrated, so that's not a problem. But anyway, a lot of you will be thinking, will be wondering why the hell I'm actually bringing you this, this video today. How I know it's cancelled, how I know it's not happening. Um, and a few of you will have a very similar kind of experience, if you like, because you will have had tickets as well. Myself and the old man, we've gone to Body Power every single year for the past few years. Obviously, it's not taken place since um, uh, 2019 because of, you know, <laughs> that's kind of stopped it, you know, um, which makes perfect sense. It's, it is what it is. Um, obviously, the Arnold went ahead maybe four or five months ago now. When was it? September, October? I can't remember. Uh, that managed to go ahead, but obviously Body Power then didn't come around until May. But we are hearing now um, that it has been cancelled for this year. Anyway, whether it's permanent or not, let me tell you, ladies and gents, I do not know. I have had what I'd like to call a pretty good um, relationship with the owner, with the CEO, uh, with the founder, whatever you want to call him. He's basically everything. He is body power. Um, Mr. Nick Orton. Um, I've had a pretty good relationship with him over the past few years. Obviously, I was promoting the, the expo on the day. I would go on the Friday. I would go back to the hotel room and edit the video, publish it on the Friday. Saturday, Sunday, I would do the same thing um, to the point where you guys have started calling me Mr. Body Power, which is, which is kind of nice. So the reason for this video is I've had Dan and Lawrence um, in the past 24 hours, and that's one of at least half a dozen that I can think of, but they're just the two names that I open my Instagram messages to, asking about whether the, in, the, the, inspo, the expo is is going ahead this year. Um, tickets are currently unavailable on the site. You can't buy it anymore, and people are receiving the emails that we'll get to in just a minute. I've done interviews with Nick over the past. I've had good contact with him over the past few months in particular. Got quite close, heavily involved with this year's expo in terms of posting for the social media and all that kind of stuff. I'll get to that another time. Um, but what we're hearing is that it's cancelled when we were expecting the best one yet. <laughs> Dear visitor, booking ref, blah blah blah, um, that's our ticket number. I'm sorry to inform you that the May Body Power Expo UK will not be taking place as planned. Will not take place as planned, sorry. Despite the relaxation of COVID restrictions recently announced, many of our exhibitors are unable to take part in a May Expo, despite them having confirmed their space at the show. The main reasons from them are, one, stock shortage, two, staff resources shortage, slash resources shortage. The competitions and education at the show are all set up and performing well, but without a good enough exhibition, the experience would not be at the level that I want to offer visitors. So essentially, they're saying that people are pulling out, like exhibitors are pulling out, let's say like PCA, who hold the big bodybuilding competition, that's one of the main events on Saturday. If they pull out, then it's kind of like, you know, but if they pull out because of COVID reasons or, or not, um, it's a big change to the show. So whether Nick feels like that's not gonna be the same show, so it's just not doing the show. Like I say, I'm not sure, but next paragraph. I apologize for the inconvenience. We will announce the new dates as soon as the venue confirms the options and your tickets will be valid for the new dates. Alternatively, you can request a refund via the customer service page. Please allow seven to 10 working days for the funds to credit the original payment source. Kind regards, see tickets on behalf of Nick Orton, Body Power. So this letter, if you like, is on behalf of Nick. Um, whether he's written it himself or not, I assume he's at least looked over it. I mean, there's a couple of spelling mistakes, so maybe not. A couple of things that I wanna kind of focus on with this are the fact that they've said no year in the, in the, in the title. I don't know, I have contacted Nick, I've had nothing back. Whether that's because he doesn't know either, I, I don't know, but it says, I'm sorry to inform you that the May Body Power Expo UK, there's also a Body Power India, so that's the specification of the UK, not India. The May Body Power, but which, you know, which year? Does that just mean it's the end of Body Powers in May? Because it's always been on the same weekend in May, or give or take, right? Does that mean it's just not going to be in May anymore? Does that mean it's going to be in June or July? Or does that mean it's just never happening again? It's just, I, I have lots of questions from this email, 
I'm quite concerned. You know, not only myself and the old man have tickets and hotels booked and stuff like that. There's going to be hundreds, thousands of people in the same position. Um, just a bit more kind of information and clarity would be good. Um, and I thought that I would be able to get that given the position that I was in a couple of months ago. Um, but I haven't, and it's left me quite sad, to be honest, because well, you guys know how much I love body power. Body power is more than just an expo to me. I was in a car crash on my way to my first ever body power. I survived that car crash, obviously. Um, so when I was there, I was alive you know i was living i was truly and wholeheartedly in the moment just that i was just there I, I was living i was on top of the world because i should have been dead and to hear that there's no expo this year and rumors of there being no expo ever at all again I, I don't know, it just, it just doesn't sit well with me. Hello, my name's Nick Morton, Chief Executive of Body Power. As you know, I've changed it all around this year. Yep. Had a few changes to the expo this year. Yeah, so we're actually standing in the experience hall. The idea here is you, you walk in and it's a big wow. All the competitions are over that side. It's, it's huge over there. We've got like 10,000 competitors at the show, so very, very wow. busy area. Wow, wow. At the back 10, of the hall. 10,000 competitors, yeah. Wow. So this year we've got 45 more stands than we, than we had last year. Right. Is so, that because of the space or? Um, actually, the size of the stands has gone down on average. Okay. But yeah. we've, we've actually, with the new layout, we've attracted lots more exhibitors. Right, right, So it's right. quite interesting to see that. Lots of new companies as well. Okay. Which is great for the industry as a whole. And that's it. And I hope you enjoy it. Yes, um, yes. Layout seems to be working really well. So. It does, it does. The new layout, I was talking about it a little bit earlier in the video as well. New layout, spot on. Job well done, Thank, Thank you very you much. much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So ultimately, um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say, you know. I feel like the emotion that I had when it got cancelled a couple of years ago, like I, I, I cried. Like I, genu I genuinely cried. I'm not afraid to say that I cried when that expo got cancelled. Um, because of how much it meant to me and COVID was all, it was new you know, we didn't think it was that bad and it just got cancelled and I was very, very upset the following year, not surprised at all completely understood this year, it's not a COVID justification for it being cancelled which makes it kind of difficult for me to swallow personally um, because well, it, it, it just does um I still have so many questions, so Nick, if you're watching this, please um, just reach out so that I can have these questions answered. Um, I know many people, many, many people watching this video have the exact same questions, hence why I'm making the video. Um, a lot of people won't have known because it's not on the Instagram or whatever, but anyone that's bought tickets will, will, will know because you'll have received the, the same email as, as what we did. But um, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. The 2022 Body Power Expo is no more. Is Body Power no more? I, I don't know. They've said that they'll confirm new dates, but when they'll be, I, I assume that's down to the NEC because Body Power needs so much space. It's fucking massive, right? The only expo that the NEC holds that's bigger than it is Crufts. And you guys know what Crufts is. Crufts is a nationally, globally renowned thing it's a show you know and the only other thing bigger than body power is that that's how much space body power requires so it's not like they can just go all right we'll move it to three weeks on on friday you know that weekend you can have it in three weeks time because they need so much space it requires so much planning and so much money and if people pull out then funding pulls out because of that you know it 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 will affect it massive like massively i've never known the ag exact numbers of how much these things cost but we're talking in the millions to reserve the space in the nec you know so i don't know i'm very sad <laughs> i'm very sad is the the only thing that i can say really um i just hope that all comes together and it can go ahead next year because I really, really miss it. Um, 
I really do. So, anyway, I'm not going to finish on a negative, I'm going to finish on a positive. I want to thank you all so much for watching today. I want to thank you all for, for all of your messages of, of support. I've actually had a couple of messages saying, am I okay? Which I really fucking appreciate. Thank you. Like, I... I appreciate you guys because you like a lot of you guys know how much I love the expo and how much this will have affected me internally. So um if if you're one of those people that has messaged me, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Together we will grow. And I will hope to see you at the 2023 Body Power Expo. Otherwise, I guess I'll just see you down at UFB. I'm rambling. If you're still with me, I appreciate it. If you haven't dropped the video like by now uh, and you're still with me, sort of 14 minutes into the video. Please do so, it genuinely really helps. Um, any new ideas that you have for videos, anything that you would like to see me do over the next few weeks. I've got some eating videos uh, and some more training videos planned. Um, also, I did have something else in mind which might not work out now, um, logistics wise, uh, but we shall see. Either way, body power or no body power, there's plenty to look forward to here on this channel. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you all. Together we will grow. I love you all. Please keep supporting the channel. Please keep supporting me, supporting everything we do here. Body power is a huge part of the channel, so if it is gone, it'd be a massive, massive shame to see it go. But we shall wait and see for more information, I guess. I hope you like the clickbait title, nevertheless. Thank you all so much for watching. Together we will grow. I'll see you in the next video. Sigh. <sighs>